Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here. You look scrumptious like a little snacky poo. I am just so grateful to be in your presence. Thank you for inviting me into your home on your iPhones or your laptops or your Androids or your TVs. Hello, from my house to yours. Today we'll be watching some people follow my hair color tutorial. I show you guys how to do hair well at home and hopefully those pointers helped you guys do it successfully on yourself or others. My hopes aren't very high, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's watch these videos. Let's do it. Before we get started, I would like to announce a giveaway I have going on. Most of you guys know now I have a color line coming out on the 19th. I'm so freaking excited. We'll get more into that next week. For now, I have a giveaway going on where you guys can win every single color sent to you in a VIP box with my handwritten note inside, signed and everything. It's gonna be so special. The box is so cool. I'll be sending three of you guys this VIP box. All you have to do is follow Xmondo Color on Instagram and sign up for our mailing list at xmondocolor.com. It is linked below. It is at the bottom of the page on the website. Just put your email in and you will be submitted to win the VIP box. And again, three of you guys will be chosen as winners on November 19th and you'll be notified on Instagram. That is it. Good luck. Up first, we have Caitlin Gutierrez and this is called Following Brad Mondo's Bleach Tutorial on My Boyfriend. Hopefully I can help. We did a part one where we bleached his hair and it came out like this. Wait, you did it wrong? Started at your roots instead of starting like down here. Ugh. You know what happens when you start at the roots? The heat from your scalp processes it faster. Therefore, you're gonna end up with white hair on the top and orange hair at the bottom. Pretty much what happened to him. Today, we're gonna be like sectioning, just trying a little harder, I guess. Did she just say sectioning? <laughs> Ooh, I just got chills. We are combing, we're sectioning. So far, so good. I'm feeling so good about this. I'm so happy about it. He has plenty of root. Actually, does he? Not really. Duh, you guys should have probably waited until he got a little more root or less root. You should have done it right when you uh, f***ed up the first time. You're gonna have to make sure you only touch the little tiny root bit when you retouch that section or else it's all gonna be different colors again. Most likely you're gonna overlap. You're gonna end up with like white banding. He says start from the back, but he was doing it on a girl mannequin. And this is a boy mannequin and it says don't start at the roots but all he has back here is like the roots you could actually do his ends first back here you could take a comb and just paint the ends and then go back and do the roots after not totally mad that you're about to do the entire back first but what it came out better if you just, just hit the ends first and it's, it's not just roots in the back of his head okay there is roots and ends here oh i love the comb she's using a comb in one hand and a brush in the other that is like professional vibes right there like good job and she's combing it through it's all always okay to comb through bleach on short hair like this because you're not gonna like rip out the hair. It's quite simple to comb through. You're good at everything. He, he is a hairdresser that makes YouTube videos reacting to people that do a horrible job. Are we on there? No, I wish. Now you're on it. Welcome. Now I'm gonna start doing it from the middle of the hair down and then afterwards go in and do roots at the very end. I'm feeling really good about our progress here. She's doing an incredible job of just taking her time. Trying to go on the ends first and then going on the root. Around the edges on men's hair tends to like pick up more yellow on the shorter bits. So I think it's actually good that she is starting on these sides in the back. I think that's what I told him to do. So go me. Okay, we're going downhill here. We're starting to lose concentration and I can tell. Okay, now it's all on. She didn't section that at all on the top. Brad Mondo said to get a bag and spritz it with water and then put it on your head really tight. This is going to process his hair faster and cleaner and whiter and brighter. And also I'm so happy that she put water inside the bag. I love to do that and then sit out in the heat if it's warm outside or even use like a blow dryer to heat it up. It actually moistens the bleach up, make sure it doesn't dry out or flake off and it processes your hair faster. He's blonde. Who oh, even am I? He's yellow. Uh no! We're gonna use this developer and hopefully it will take that yellow kind of out. I thought you were following my tutorial. You're gonna whip out T18 on me on yellow hair and you're gonna say you follow my tutorial? That ain't right. It needs to be lightened so much more to use anything like T18. This is going to burn his head so bad. Okay, so you can kind of already see the difference. The side's like turning gray. Looks can be deceiving here because it's not gonna turn out like that when it's rinsed off. So I took this. His hair is dark before whoo give you this <laughs> ah, <laughs> not bad the toner definitely did something thank 
God, definitely could have been a lot better. However, they seem to be happy with it. And so that's all that really matters. So good, decent job, Kaylin. Let's tone it better next time. Or let's lighten it before we tone it a little bit more because it was yellow beforehand and we don't want that. That's all I have to say. Let's move on to the next video. <laughs> Up next, we have Miss Riley Jean. And this is I bleached my hair at home using Brad Mondo's God and it went well. As you can tell, my hair is greasy at the top, which is because Brad Mondo Mondo says that you shouldn't wash your hair for a couple days before you dye it. You want it to be a little bit dirty. That way the oils on your scalp are protecting your scalp. It's way darker at the top than at the bottoms. So that I would say is like what I'm the most nervous about. The fact that I'm starting with already kind of like very tired balayage or whatever. So I'm honestly feeling pretty confident. I might regret saying that. Ooh. Me too then. So that I don't have to like do like the backs and stuff myself. She's gonna pretty much like put all the bleach on. Um, and we'll do the test strip. We're doing a test strand too. This is so exciting. The Wella lightener. This is like the bleach powder. I got a 20 volume developer. Word. He says that he usually uses 30, but says to mix the toner that I got. I just ordered one of these, some of this conditioner. I rarely shampoo my hair anyways. So I just didn't think it was worth it to get the shampoo and conditioner. Just wanted something because I know that my hair is going to be dead after this. So I just wanted some sort of treatment. This is a great plan. Yes. We're doing a test strip. Yes. I love this because you never know what's going to happen to your hair. You guys, you want to put that plan in place before doing your entire head. Hopefully it gets nice and blonde. Yes. We love a good foil moment. Why does it look like there's no bleach on your hair? I said, lay on the lightener so thickly, please. And you didn't do that. So I'm pissed. Okay. It's been 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see it looks pretty light, but I just want to kind of open this up a little bit. So like stuff that I- We waited 30 minutes. It's a good amount of time. 45 would have been better though. It's orange. Yeah, there it is. Time to bleach her whole head. Uh, why does it look like she's applying to the root? I am happy, however, that we do have sectioning going on. I feel like her mom's taking her time. Oh, why does that look so good? So finished the back and then went back to the back left, did the roots of that, and then the roots away back right. And then we did front right, front left, Left, and now my mom's going back and doing the front right roots and then we'll do the front left roots this music to my ears this music to my fucking ears the color of the front of my hair and the back of my hair is completely different right now so we're just gonna wash out in sections that is exactly what you're supposed to do rinsing out in sections is a fantastic thing to do when you're using lightener because wherever you start it starts processing immediately so when you make it to the front it's already like the back is done so you gotta rinse that out first and then the next section the next section the next section everything she just said was perfect we have just washed all of the bleach Whoa. It's orange. It's a little orange. Main right now. We need more lightener. Toner. The toner. Oh, we're just gonna tone it. We're gonna just tone it. Orange, you gonna tell her she needs a little bit more lightener? Ah. Ah. Honestly, the f there is definitely some spots that are more yellow, like at the top here, like yellow orange. I have like some kind of underneath pieces that are like a little bit more yellowy orange. I don't know if I just like missed these spots kind of. Oh my God, this looks actually really good. Such a proud little teacher today. Oh my God. The fact that her roots are the same color as her ends makes me just so freaking happy. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it is pretty damn good. Yeah, you look so beautiful too. Wow, it really brings out your eyes. I really actually like it for doing my mom basically doing it for me in the bathroom. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm happy with it too. I would like your hair a little more cool tone because your skin is so pink. The yellow doesn't work as much. That yellowy tint you have in your hair, I don't hate it. It is very beachy and cute, but I mean, I'm just nitpicking now. I mean, honestly, 10 out of 10, you did an amazing job and I'm so glad you follow my directions and it worked out. Yay! Our next video is by Yvette Francis and this is called Bleed bleaching my hair using Brad Mondo's guide. I'm gonna bleach my hair. Hopefully um, I do well because Brad Mondo, right? <laughs> Am I right? I've been watching Brad Mondo's so many hairs coloring and bleaching videos. We're pouring that bleach in. We're pouring the developer in. I don't know what developer she's using. I think it's 30 volume. We'll go with 30 volume. I don't know if this is gonna work because honestly with her hair, I would definitely foil every single piece because her hair is so dark and coarse and thick. Why are we starting in the middle of the head? I don't think I recommended that. Okay, well, I mean, at least they're sectioning and like the pieces aren't that thick um, and they are layering on the bleach. So that's always good. But please protect your skin when you use lightener, guys. You don't want 
that laying on your skin. I fully saturated my hair with bleach. As Brad, Brad Mondo wanted me to. Well, my sister did most of the work. But here's the back looking. As you can see, my roots aren't done, but that's because I'm leaving it for the last like 25 minutes of this whole processing thing. So I don't get hot roots. I'm so happy she's doing the roots after. That's gonna be so critical for her hair to be even. Yes, this is going to be good. I feel it. I feel good about this. Hey guys, so I look rough right now. I literally just woke up. <sighs> what happened? So this is my current hair. As you can see, it's very yellow and super orange okay well you clearly had like color on your hair before this that's where you're getting out orange is where that pre-existing color was um so you're gonna need to lighten it again please go in again and especially on those dark bits first and then move on and i miss quite some spots her hair looks healthy though here we are about to do it again we're doing it again I'm happy we're doing it again. She needs to do it again, or else it's not gonna be light enough to tone. I actually feel good, I, like still feel good because she is doing it again and I'm so happy. Oh, it's looking lighter. I kind of finished already, I'm not really sure. You know what, this is the last time I'm ever gonna bleach my hair. This is not good for it. So I finish rinsing the bleach off. I don't think you left it on long enough, love. Quite some of my hair fell off. No. I don't really know what to do anymore, so I'm just gonna wait for my hair to dry and tone it. At this point, I'm really scared for my hair. You did some damage, girl. You did some damage. It looks damaged. Stop pulling it out. And hair's literally just coming out. See, what we could have done differently next time is not bleach over the already white parts of your hair. I could tell around your head you had white patches going on. And if you bleach over those with 30 volume for as long as you did, your hair is going to snap off. So next time, let's just do the orange parts and let's skip the white parts bit. Okay, so we definitely have some orange patches in there and her hair is definitely falling out. Frick! Ha! I'm scared that it's gonna take a lot on those white bits like it's gonna turn gray and then the rest is gonna be like still orange And it's gonna look so not cute at all. Please just some miracle happen. Hair gods, please So this is my finished hair. Oh my god. Um a little uneven Kind of silvery up top, beige on the bottom ish. Yeah, exactly what I thought would happen happened, but that's okay She looks like a baddie still Ooh. I'm not mad at it mad at either actually i mean it could be worse i mean you look really really good with that color um however you need to do a better toner next time to like a root and end toner and i would tell you what to do but however you guys telling people how to tone their hair at home is like virtually impossible it's more of a salon thing so honestly you could just go to a salon and get a good toner and probably get it for like 40 dollars or something like that it's not that expensive i recommend just seeing a professional just for two seconds just letting them fix it and not lighten it anymore but just do a nice gloss over what you have and and it will look literally perfect. You look gorgeous with this color. I love it. The blonde is so fun. However, your poor damaged hair. Resurrect that. I'll give that like a eight out of 10. That's generous. Woo, all right. Well, um, that was interesting. I'm glad that we have one girl do it very well. Not perfect, but very well. The other two, you know, it was decent. I'm glad I could kind of teach you guys how to do hair color at home and do it okay, decently. I don't know. I feel like I failed most of you guys, but it's okay. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight over it, but it's fine. Don't forget to enter my giveaway for X Mondo Color. If you didn't hear about that already, it's at the beginning of the video. Go back and watch it. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here are all my social media links there you go text me at this number right here yes it's really my number yes i really do see all your texts and yes i will be answering a few of your texts if you text me right now check out x mondo hair and x mondo color on instagram at x mondo hair at x mondo color you can also check out our website down below they are linked right there make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already you can press the bell icon to be notified whenever i post and you can press the like button because that'd be super sweet i appreciate it if you do it today's instagram shout out goes to katie Katie says, I love your channel so much. Thank you, Katie. I have curly wavy hair and I like to braid it a lot, but I'm kind of bored of my brown color and I'm looking for something new as I enter nursing school. I think a boho blonde, maybe an ombre. I also thought of a light reddish orange would help. Oh my God, the copper orangey thing you were talking about in your text. Yes, do that. And I'm very inspired by orange today, apparently. Yes, yes, yes. I'll put a reference right here. This is the color for you. Boom, that one. You would look so good. Your skin, nice and pink. The hair, nice and orange. Beautiful, gorgeous, timeless. 
this kind of look. Try it out. I would love to see if you end up doing it. Please send me a picture. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.